Welcome back to Life is New Every Day. Today we have come up with four beautiful plants that we are growing indoor in our apartment. Water and light we have mentioned based on our day-to-day -day experience. Epipram Nemorium, also known as the Enjoy Pothos. This plant brings great beauty and has a powerful decorative effect, especially in a hanging coconut shell. Here you can see the total arrangement with bluish green curtain, pothos perfectly matching in highlights this contrast beauty. This is also called a devil's ivy. You can see a winding branch here. Bright indirect light and moderately damp soil is the perfect condition for its growth. In low light, their color can fade and growth can be slower. We give it water, mist the leaves once in 5 days, checking the soil condition. Camidoria is another elegance for your home, also called the parlor plant and sometimes areca palm. A smaller one was shown in our previous video, the link is shared below. It was growing in a small nursery pot, which we repotted into a big one. Its slender cane stem supports its green pretty leaves. Fill the sand according to the size of the pot and see how stunning it looks in the wider grape colored pot. If given adequate amount of light and water, it's a great success. It thrives with minimum effort, so need not have to be a skilled planter. It tolerates low light very well, compared to many other indoor plants. It droops or wills due to underwatering or overwatering. It's placed near the window side and usually watered in three days. The Peperomia obstisfolia is a succulent variety of Peperomia. It's also known as a baby rubber plant but it's not related to the natural rubber. It has got thick upright stems with glossy oversized leaves and the pot 
is a perfect match for its shape. It stores water in its thick leaves which shrivel in drought and plump when water is available. Water once or twice a week allowing soil to dry out between watering. Wilting and leaf loss are the most common problems which mostly occur due to overwatering. It's comfortable in the average home humidity and temperature. You have a surprise here, the white variated leaves that resembles marbling. Medium to bright light is perfect for this but can tolerate low indirect light too. Ficus Benjamina Starlight. This is today's last variated beauty. It's basically from the fig family and its slender stem resembles a kind of woody tree. It's not a very easy plant to handle with in the beginning compared to the other plants. It takes time to adjust with the new surrounding temperature and humidity. Here I have a new shoot growing up after suffering from a lot of wilting and drooping leaves. It likes humidity and regular watering but do not overwater it. This plant is extremely beautiful and placed in this particular place in front of the Buddha fountain. In the diamond design pot it looks so serene and calm. So that's it for today, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you soon in our next video.